Hey everybody, um, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters and what a wonderful spring color for this wonderful spring day. So it's week 13, this typewriter is part of um, um, week 13's listings that are going out on Saturday the 27th, I think, of March. We do list it, new typewriter listings every Saturday. So please visit jotandtittletypewriters.com and the first place to get notified of when the listings are live are right here on YouTube. So make sure you hit subscribe, you hit that bell, and you give me a thumbs up. Thanks so much. Okay, let's get right into it. So this is a 1970s Electra 210. Here you go. This one is repainted in this... Um, key lime color and actually when i went to do the photo when i edited the photos i was trying to tone down the color because i didn't think you guys would i thought it was really bright but it really is bright so i i put it back because this really is almost like a neon green but it's gorgeous i mean it's very attractive i love it and it could go either way for guys or gals um however if you like green you're gonna like this color it's very yummy okay Let's start back here. Here's your paper holder. And I like to leave it up. Margins, press and drag. Um, there's your paper guide right here. Your carriage release is this black lever on each side. And the carriage is gonna move however far you have the margins set. Now this is fully electric, which means you have to put it, plug it into the wall. There's no batteries or chargers. This isn't something you're gonna wanna take to the coffee shop because you're gonna annoy everybody around you. Plus it's really heavy to schlep around. Um, and this also has power return. So there's no return handle. And if you're used to manuals, you'll be typing away and you'll go do this. But here's your return right here. Okay. Uh, line selector, when you hit return, that's going to advance one, two, or three lines. Paper release to adjust your paper if it's crooked. And then to open, slide it forward. And that's normal when we ship it to you. The ribbons can get all jumbled up and that's okay. We always put brand new ribbons in our typewriters. And if you're new to Jot and Tittle typewriters, um, we are different. I encourage you to go watch the video on the difference between um, serviced, uh, refurbished and restored. So um, on Etsy and eBay, you're gonna find the majority of people don't do anything to their typewriters, but they still charge you a lot of money. They don't clean it, they don't repair it, they don't put new ribbon in it, they let you figure that out. But here at Jot and Till Typewriters, we repair them and service them, we get them working, and that's why we have these videos to prove to you that it's working and how well it's working. We put new ribbons in it, it's all clean for you. And, um, and you, then you have these videos to refer back to if, in case you ever get stuck on something. But we do not take our typewriters apart. That's really key. And we don't, I mean, we do replace parts, but we just tell you guys we don't because we don't always replace parts and sometimes we do. Once you start getting into replacing parts and taking things um, apart and redoing them, then the price skyrockets and we are trying to keep the price point down um, so, you know, the apt person can afford a typewriter that works. Okay, all that to say, Here's a new ribbon for you. If you need a ribbon for your typewriter, please visit our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. And um, when you change this out, you just lift it up, pop it down, make sure it's in the guide wires. There's an up close image of this whole escapement area. And, um, and that way you can see how to thread your ribbon, black on top, red on bottom. Uh, when you get to the end of the ribbon, it's not the end of the ink. You just need to reverse the direction of the ribbon and we do need you to manually reverse our ribbons right here. And that's where you do it. Okay, and you re reverse it many, many times before you need to replace it. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. Here's your tab. This is tab to set your tab, to clear it. You may think, what's a tab for? Really, it's just for creating columns. I would say the majority of people don't even use tabs, so there's that. Okay, space bar, power switch is here, 
color selector, and then as we do our typing, I'm gonna explain some of these other buttons. So let's go ahead and um, put in a piece of paper. And by the way, I highly recommend for electric typewriters, you get a non-slip typewriter pad, which is on our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com. The link is also below. Um, because, well, actually all typewriters, as you're typing, they scoot. <laughs> they just scoot. So you're kind of following your typewriter around, but especially electric typewriters love to scoot. So you're gonna need a, a typewriter pad, plus it protects your table. Okay, so we're gonna turn it on right here. I always like to give it about 10 seconds for everything to kind of ring to engage. You just set your paper like that. Turn the handle, bring it around, make sure it's nice and even and it's perfect. Yay. Let me scoot this guy up. And if it wasn't perfect, then this lever right here is your paper release. You pull that forward. Move your paper around till it's where you want it and then re-engage. And see, now it's crooked. I should have left it, but hey. There we go. Okay, so this is a 1970s. Oops, sorry. Backspace if you make a mistake. I have a pole that's right in the middle of my keyboard and so I'm having a little bit of trouble typing. Okay, power return. Voila! Tab. Um. Sorry. This pole is in the way. I shouldn't have pulled the typewriter up so close to me because I'm literally on top of the pole. Let's try this. Okay, the bell says, hey, you're at the end of the line. You need to hit the return handle. I'm going to keep going. And it's going to, there, now it stops. But if you hit MR, you can keep going. Which reminds me, there's three keys on an electric typewriter that have an auto repeat. It's going to be your dash, your period, and your X. Okay, and, um, and there's your dash without the caps lock on there. So... That can come in handy for anything. A lot of people use that for typewriter art. Okay, let's try the red. Voila, types very well. I probably could have typed a lot faster, but I was literally hitting, I don't know if you saw, this hand was crooked because I was literally hitting the pole for the that's holding the camera. So um, I couldn't type as fast. So if you're fast typist, this will work well for you. This is excellent for kids. Homeschoolers, you need an electric typewriter. I mean, what a great way to have your kids make homework a little more fun, you know, write their papers or their poetry out or whatever it is on a typewriter instead of a computer. I mean, how fun is that? And the colors are nice and bright. This is a good everyday typewriter for everybody because they're just solid machines. You can type very quickly on them. Um, these are the only ones that we paint really fun colors. So you can add a, a bit of color to your room and they're actually a very affordable machine. So great for beginners, great for kids, and great for those of you who don't always wanna use your really nice typewriters. 
but you wanna pump something out pretty quick, then it's always great to have an electric one on hand. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you visit the links in the description below and you all have a blessed day.